ഹായ് എവറി വൺ ആഷ്ലി ഹിയർ വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ചാനൽ നഴ്സിംഗ് ഹാബ് ദിസ് ടൈം ഐ എം ഹിയർ വിത്ത് വിർജീനിയ ഹെൻഡൽസൺസ് നീഡ്സ് തിയറി സോ ഓൾ ദ തിയറീസ് ഹാവ് ഡെവലപ്പ് ഫ്രം സം കൺസെപ്റ്റ്സ് സോ ദ കൺസെപ്റ്റ്സ് ആർ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഈച്ച് പേഴ്സൺ മൈ പേ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഡിഫർ ഫ്രം യുവർ കൺസെപ്റ്റ്സ് സോ സെയിം വേ വിർജീനിയ വിർജീനിയ ഹെൻഡൽസൺ ഹാസ് സം കൺസെപ്റ്റ്സ് റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ഹർ തിയറി സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് സി വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഹർ തിയറി ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ്സ് first let's see the basic introduction about virginia henderson henderson was born on november 30 1897 in kansas city missouri virginia henderson graduated from army school of nursing in 1921 in 1926 she awarded bs and ma degree in nursing education her interest evolved from helping sick and wounded military personnel during world war 1 In 1955 Henderson first published her definition of nursing in a revised version of the textbook that is the principles and practice of nursing in 1966 she clarified her definition of nursing in the book the nature of nursing and she died in March 19 1996 all nursing students in the first year of nursing will learn the definition of nursing which is given by Virginia Henderson so henderson views her work as a philosophical statement rather than a theory because the term theory was not used at the time she formulated her ideas in her definition henderson henderson emphasizes the care of both sick and well individuals she was one of the first theorists to include spiritual aspects of nursing care so in previous theory the nightingale theory we have seen she was mainly emphasizing on the environmental uh basis of the patient but in this theory she is giving importance to the spiritual aspect of the patient according to henderson the nurse assists the patient with essential activities to maintain health recover from illness or achieve a peaceful death the patient's independence is an important criterion for health so henderson identifies 14 basic needs that form the components of nursing care the nurse helps help the patient meet these needs and it provides a holistic approach to nursing henderson has some assumption about nursing nurses care for patients until they can care for themselves once again so when the patients are sick nurses are giving all the care to the patient till the time the patients are able to do by themselves again all the although not precisely explained decide to return to health nurses are willing to serve and that nurses will devote themselves to the patient day and night henderson also believes that the mind and body are inseparable and interrelated henderson identifies 14 components of nursing care so first one is breathe normally which is essential for each and every human being second is eat and drink adequately third eliminate bodily waste fourth move and maintain desirable postures fifth sleep and rest select suitable people clothes dress and undress seventh is maintain body temperature within normal range by adjusting clothing and modifying the environment eighth component is keep the body clean and well groomed and protect the integument avoid dangers in the environment and avoid injuring others tenth one is communicate with others in expressing emotions needs fears or opinions Eleventh one is worship according to one's faith. So here she, she gives importance for the spirituality. The next component is work in such a way that there is a sense of accomplishment. Play or participate in various forms of recreation. L- and the last one is learn, discover or satisfy the curiosity that leads to normal development and health and use the available health facilities. So these, these are the 14 components of nursing care according to Virginia Henderson. Now let's see the conceptual framework based on Virginia Henderson. So we have already seen the 14 components based on her model. She here she has made those 14 components into 6 components. So they are physiological, psychological, hygienic, social, safety and spiritual. So in the phys- so in the physiological component she has made the basic things which is related to our bodily function they are breathe normally eat and drink adequately eliminate waste maintain position sleep and rest maintain temperature and comes to the psychological component they are communicate to express emotions fears 
learn to discover of satisfy leads to normal life and in hygienic suitable clothes to keep the body clean and uh, body clean and in social component work in such a way that leads to sense of accomplishment play or participate in various forms of recreation in safety component avoid dangers and in the last spiritual one worship according to one now let's see how can we apply this conceptual framework into a patient who has diabetes mellitus so we have seen those six components so in the physiological component we are providing diabetic diet providing exercise to maintain his normal bodily function providing rest and sleep sleep and in the psychological component we can allow the patient to communicate to express their feeling and adopting ability to disease condition and in the hygienic one the basic personal hygiene should be maintained and in the spiritual one we can provide some religious activity based on one's own belief in the safety we you know the patients with diabetes mellitus they are more prone to develop ulcers so we can provide food care protect from hypoglycemia protect from injury and in the social one really safe working environment so in this way it depends upon the patient's condition we can apply this framework now the important part the henderson's definition and the four concepts of the nursing meta paradigm so we already told in the previous slide there are four meta paradigms in the nursing that is in the concept they are person health environment and nursing so here the henderson defines finds person as an individual requiring assistance to achieve health and independence or a peaceful death the person and family are viewed as a unit person is affected by both body and mind person consists of biological psychological social and spiritual components person is either sick or well and strives towards a state of independence a person has a certain basic needs for survival the person needs strength will or knowledge to perform activities necessary for healthy living so the basic definition of nursing that is coming in the person in meta paradigm environment she has not specifically defined regarding environment environment involves the relationship one shares with one's family it also involves the community and its responsibility for providing health care henderson believes that society wants and expects nurses to provide a service for individuals incapable of functioning independently but in return she expects society to contribute to nursing education environment can be controlled by healthy individuals illness may interfere with this ability environment can affect health personal factors such as age cultural background physical capacity and intellect and physical factors such as air temperature play a role in nurse person's well-being next paradigm is health health is referred to as an individual's ability to function independently in relationship to the 14 basic needs health is a quality of life that is basic to human functioning requires strength will or knowledge the paradigm nursing is defined as primarily assisting a sick or well individual to perform activities that contribute to health or a peaceful death the person with sufficient strength will or knowledge would perform these activities unaided without any help helps a person be independent of assistance as soon as possible or achieve a peaceful death nursing requires working independently with other members of healthcare team the nurse functions independently of the physician but uses the physician plan of care provide to provide holistic care to the patient nursing requires basic knowledge of social sciences and humanities this pioneering belief which led to baccalaureate education as the basic training for nurses was not adopted by the american association until 1965 nursing requires knowledge of social customs and religious practices places to assess areas of possible conflict or unmet human needs nursing helps a patient meet the 14 basic needs through the formation of a nurse patient relationship henderson identifies three levels of nursing function substitute which means making up for what the patient lacks to be as a whole helper instituting medical interventions or partner 
fostering a therapeutic relationship with patient and functioning as a member of the healthcare team. Nursing is a logical, scientific approach to problem solving that results in individualized care. Nursing involves the use of written nursing care plan. Here I'll show you an example how the nurse's role will differ in different situations. So here, the, here is an example of an amputated patient. So the nurse's role will be diminishing as the rehabilitation progresses. So before the operation, the nurse's role is very minimal. So the main, the main role is for the surgeon, physician, social worker, family or anesthetist. On the first day of the surgery, the nurse's role is half. We can see in this slide. And same way, physician, surgeon, family members and patient. And again, the first week, the nurse's role is becoming minimal. And in the fourth month, again, it is becoming minimal. And in the sixth month, it is becoming minimal. And in the first year, it is becoming very minimal. So our nurse's role is to help the patient when the patient needs the care in their situation. And they are just contributing to their health when they are becoming now let's see what are the strengths of henderson's theory so there is interrelation of concepts concepts of fundamental human needs biophysiology culture and interaction communication and borrowed from other disciplines example maslow's theory her definition and components are logical and the 14 components are a guide for the individual and the nurse in reaching the chosen goal henderson's theory is relatively simple yet generalizable. It is applicable to the health of the individuals of all ages. It assists in increasing the general body of knowledge within the discipline and her ideas of nursing care are well accepted in all the areas. When it comes to the weakness of her theory, there is a lack of conceptual linkage between physiological and other human characteristics. There is no concept of the holistic nature of human being. If the assumption is made that the 14 components prioritize the relationship among the component is unclear, lacks interrelation of factors and influence of nursing care, assisting the individual in the dying process, she contends that the nurse helps, but there is little explanation of what the nurse does. And peaceful death is curious and significant nursing role is minimal. Now let's the, see the major part, the application of Virginia Henderson's theory in nursing process. So here again I have given the same identification data, Mrs. James, 72 year old female, date of admission is on 828-3-2020 and she is a widow, two children lives away, religion is Christian, language she knows Hindi and English and her occupation is volunteer worker. And her interests are gardening and active in clubs. Diagnosis CVA, left-sided. Chief complaints are left-sided weakness and she is left-handed. And personal and social history, she lives in her own home, now in a four-bedded room. Frequently reports difficulty in sleeping in the hospital until she was hospitalized. She slept six to seven hours a night. Has incontinence at times, needs assistance in bathing, feeding, etc. She misses her friends and describes herself as mess. Believes independence likes to interact with her own age group. In the nursing process, we know the first part is assessment. So in the assessment focuses on assessing Mrs. James ability relatives to 14 components of basic nursing air. That is Mrs. James is left handed with left sided weakness relates to component to eat and drink adequately so she drink adequately so she here she has problem with eating and drinking adequately so she needs help in this area so comes to the nursing diagnosis relates to deficits in the ability of mrs james to function in each of the 14 components takes into consideration on strength will knowledge that is ability to feed self due to left handed weakness and in the planning focuses on identifying those areas the 14 components that Mrs. James cannot do for herself, which therefore the nurse must do or assist in doing, that is feed Mrs. James until she is able to feed herself with the right hand. This should 
lead to independence on the part of mrs james in the implementation as we know whatever we have done she has to carry out we have to see whether she is carrying out well we, uh, we can help her to use the right hand to feed herself in the evaluation relates to how soon and how well mrs james is able to feed herself with her right hand that is for the first 3 days she need to be fed the nurse can give the food to the patient and by fourth day held her utensils and fed self with assistance by seventh day should I, the patient should be able to take a, her feed by herself so that is the aim of a nurse I hope you all understood Virginia Henderson's theory and its application in nursing process. So for more videos, like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.